This is the uh, 1JJ Swiss Terror uh, deck. Um, this is one I have really wanted for a long time. And this year, I guess it was reissued. I don't know. I, it, somehow I got it. Um, I found it. And um, brand spanking new. Um, A.G. Mueller uh, is the publisher. It's made in Belgium. And this one just says... Um, Copyright 1972. Um, it's got a got the website on there, so it can't be too old because if it was that old from 72, you know it. The internet didn't exist uh, back then as we know it. So um, this deck, um, I just love the artwork. It's it's beautiful. It's you know it's it's Marseille based. Let's look at it. There's a little booklet, which is not much of anything. And then there's the, let's see, guarantee of the cards. And then popular decks. So this is like, um, to be honest, this is uh, like the deck when I got my um, Rider Waite deck. This was the other deck I thought was probably uh, the one to get because um, it's I mean, it, it's legendary. It really is um, the one JJ. I forget what that means. It means something. Let's see. Uh, da, da, da. I read it somewhere. What it means. Um, This one, let's see. Uh, based upon original Terra designs, authentic symbols designs, 1JJ. I remember reading what it means, but um, I haven't really shuffled this deck. But the back is very much like uh, a Rider Weight deck from US Game Systems, it's just a, like a kind of plaid. And um, nice size, it fits in your hands. Um, sort of a little bit larger than plain, so, you know, longer than plain cards. But let's look. Here we have the magician, and the colors are vibrant. Um, you know, it, it, it's a legendary deck. I mean, this is this is the deck that you know a lot of pe some people learn from this deck, um, and I, I just like the engraving work. Juno. Juno. We have the peacock, which is also the bird of, of um, Juno. And the little hat. The empress. Pointing up. And these cards are, are, are stylish and simplistic, which I don't say a lot because of the types of decks. A lot of times it's just kind of crazy. Look, Fabrique de Cart, uh, uh, J. Mueller, and Co. I like how they do set for the shield. There's no bird on the shield, but we've got this Jesus looking like emperor. Jupiter. Kind of sitting there. So technically, I guess this is Zeus. We have an eagle, kind of complacent, just sitting there. We have the lovers. The flesh tones in this deck are kind of muddy. Um, we have the Cupid figure pointing right at her, not the man. And we have this older man sort of it looks like he has this creepy look on his face. I just really love this deck. It's just something about it. It's so classic and so yet clean and fresh. The chariots. Here we have horses instead of sphinx. This figure is sort of hovering above everything. It's almost like this is a close-up of this because um, the way it exists. Like he's sort of hovering. We have the canopy, but no stars. Justice. The 
hermit. We have the light, sort of a monk, and he has a staff, sort of a crutch, definitely monk's garb. Notice the longer version of nine instead of um, IX, it's V I I I I. Ten, the Wheel of Fortune. Now this one, instead of having the um, you know the crazy animals, these have people. So we have people fighting. We have um, a blind person, blind woman is cranking the wheel. It's rooted in the earth. Someone's falling off the wheel. Those two are fighting, almost like they're going to be the victims of whatever's going to happen next. Strength here, instead of a woman, we have one of the feats of Hercules. Um, you know, Hercules went through um, several things, and one of them was um, with, with a lion. Um, so, and there's, usually when you see a man, he's wrestling with something, there's a club. Think Hercules, think um, mythology. The hanged man. Uh, he doesn't look too happy. He looks like he might be dead. Or just sort of wondering how he got there. The leg is sort of hidden. It kind of goes off. It's gone. Um, kind of strange. Death. Here we do not have disembodied people, but we do have some houses. Death of the sun. And it's strange this is red there, because there's, you know, the little handle um, to help you with the scythe, um, which was used to harvest grain, which essentially is um, the final act. Once the, the grain dies out, the scythe is used to harvest it, to cut it down, to be something else, to be ground into flour, to bread, which is very much about transformation. The death card is uh, transmutation from one to something to another, transformation from something to something else. Temperance, a jug into a jug. So uh, we have angel, we have oak leaves, there's a very typical oak leaves. We have some water down here. And the long Roman numerals, the devil. Here we have this naked uh, demon with red ears and little horns, a uh, weird shaped trident, person crying, oak, despair, sorrow, attachment to things maybe you shouldn't be attached to. Always a warning. The tower. Here we actually have a person laying on the ground, which is unusual for the tower. We have a zigzag of, looks like a PowerPoint illustration, um, and a person in the process of falling. So the warning is, um, you're gonna get there, or you're already there, perhaps. Um, and we have, interesting in this one, we have the two columns, which are illustrated there with the broken tower and we have an entrance or an exit. So we have both there, which is really interesting. Ah, the star. So here we have uh, on the bank of a, a river or something and pouring the water there. The stars there. The um, six pointed stars. Instead of a five pointed, we have six pointed. Here, the crab has like these little crustacean baby people. <laughs> I don't know what. And we have a um, a man almost wooing a wooing a, a woman um, from a balcony, almost like a Romeo Juliet. Or a um, we have this lute player with a dog. I just saw the dog sort of blending in with the moon. I love the face of this moon. It's very like. Um, 
I don't know, it's very, it's engraving, it's beautiful. It's almost, it's very childlike. Um, and it looks like an eclipse. Um, but we see clouds. Um, this is existing almost like it's a motif on a wall, not really in the water. And of course the sun. This is the card that people um, seem to gravitate to because the sun is such a beautiful engraving. Um, if you look, the nose on the sun is a little sharper than the little round nose on the moon. The lips are the same, the eyes are the same, but the nose is different. And this one is radiant. Dogs. My dogs are so rude. I'm trying to record. Dogs, Linus, Peter, come in here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Do you want something? Do you want attention? Nope. So, uh, there must be someone outside. Let's see. So here we have um, judgment. We have, looks like two naked men, two naked women, well, somewhat naked. And we have the angel Gabriel out of a cloud tooting, saying, wake up, come on. And they're sort of rising from their, their, um, their state of death. And here's the world. Such a pretty card, it's so pretty. We have, it's very, um, most Federalist style, Federal style. The bull, we have a, a lion, which the face looks, you know, very classic. We have the woman, um, it really is a, a very pretty card, very colorful. We have a fruited um, wreath um, with a ribbon. And then we have the fool, which has this, it's just staring right at you, throwing up this, I don't know, this sign. He has sort of a, it looks like a club. He looks very much like a jester with the bells around the feet. Motley outfit, sort of like, ha ha. There is no number on this card. Now, the rest of the deck is typical Marseille. And this is the old Page of Wands, Eight of Wands, Queen of Wands, King of Wands, and then we're getting to the oh, oh Page of Swords, Knight of Swords, Queen of Swords, King of Swords. This is the order in which the deck came. This is really interesting that they put all the um, all the face cards page up front. Nine of Pentacles. I think there's been one other deck I got that was when I got it. It was just like this. King of Pentacles. Here we have that that flower motif that um, is there. Page of Cups, Knight of Cups, Queen of Cups, King of Cups, and we should have, oh, and here is the, um, I'm not going to go through all of them because we all know Marseille, but, and this deck is, you know, it's almost like reading the Rider weight, but look how beautiful and ornate that is. There's even a little one right there. A little Roman number one. And so, oh! Fabrique du Card à Schaffhaus. Schaffhaus? And then, oh, so, I mean, they're, they're very ornate. I am. I'll just flip them all over. Because why not? I love this, this, this line art right here. I think it's fancy, it really lends itself to um, you know, a very fancy classic deck. There. 
Nope. Oh, look at that. Doom, 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 doom. You didn't know this was uh, ten of ten of uh, coins. Well, it's there four times. Um, yes. hmm? Two, three. Instead of this laying down, uh, it's it's upright. Um, it's uh, and there's fruit. There's um, it looks like um, here the leaves are brown. Almost like the fruit is ripening, which is the three of cups is always a, a card to get. Four of cups here we have this six pointed star. I mean, that's that's a fancy card. Not as fancy. Little bells there. And of course, with cups, oh, we have some oak leaves and, and uh, acorns. You know, with cups, you think um, uh, Catholicism, transubstantiation, the wine turns into blood. Um, the cups are, um, you know, it's it's so symbolic of a vessel, but also the symbolism is um, symbolism of a cup is typical of a woman, uh, a receptacle for liquid. Um, this is not me making it up. This is, I mean, how it's interpreted. Um, so it's very female. The cup is is, is as a very female. Um, symbol. Um, here's a club. It reminds me of the Hercules club. And then there it gets fancy. So we have the the wands that actually look like the different spinels. Yeah. Here we have fancy leaves. No grape leaves. So very much Marseille in that there's no people being depicted on the pips. And then there's ten. You can't do it so much with the Ten of, of Wands because it's so packed, especially if they're all braided together. Swords. That's very pretty. That's very fancy. We have oak leaves and we have this maybe mulberry, some type of berry there. Hand coming out of nowhere. And the swords here, typical Marseille, they're curved like a scimitar. Hmm. odd ones have a sword in the middle. Ooh. Very fancy. Wow, it's getting fancier. It's very busy. I do like the symmetry there. And the ten of swords. Here they're crossed. That is me quickly going through the 1JJ Swiss. Um, it's funny it mentions uh, Tarot the Old Path and Cosmic Tarot. There's Tarot the Old Path, and there's Cosmic Tarot, and their recent acquisitions. So um, I will do, look through those, but. Um, A.G. Mueller is, they are a great, they really are a great company. I mean, the, um, they do decent cards, the card stock is, it's just like basic cards, but, um, all their cards, the quality is consistent, nothing fancy, it's like standard, like, like, I guess, in the tarot world, their production quality is, it's substantial. Peter, stop barking. That's my review of this deck. A great deck, a classic deck, especially if you love Marseille and you want a more usable, maybe a, a usable deck that, that um, may speak to more people. This is it.
it, I'm, I'm so happy I, ha I got to, to buy it because um, I, I have ever since I got was into tarot I remember this is the deck that because um, I just love these these classic images anyway thanks for watching